Oscar-winning director, how may I help you? Robin, it's uh, it's Mark. Mark, my man, how can I make your day better? <sighs> a lot of things. Look, I have some bad news. Okay, well, you don't need to preface it, Marky. I'll be the judge of how bad it is. All right. One of our truck drivers fell asleep at the wheel and drove into a tree. Oh my god. A is anyone hurt? Yes, but not fatally. Hi. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> I thought there for a second you were going to say someone might have played. But we lost some footage. You what? Mark? When the truck driver hit the tree, he impaled himself on a branch and the pyrotechnics in the back of the truck went off and caught fire. The heat in the film... Long story short, the last shoot we did, we permanently lost some of the footage. Okay. <laughs> Mark, you're playing with me right now. I really wish I was. Okay, so you're telling me that we have lost the footage from the most successful shoot in the history of film? Some of it. Okay, if this is a prank and you keep it up, you know I'll have your eyes put out. I'm not playing with you, Robin. Okay, well if that's the case... You're a real piece of shit, Mark, because that shoot was just... I... <laughs> the crew, they were in tears. The boom operator, he couldn't stop sniffling during Matt's second take. It was just amazing. Well, when we managed to salvage 90% of it. 90%? We have all your favourite takes digitised, except one. Okay, and just double checking here that this isn't a prank. No. Because if it is, and you tell me right now, I'll pay you. Ten thousand dollars. Does it have to be true? Oh, oh. heavens to Betsy. Mark. Okay. Okay. What did we lose? You know, it's just it's just the one line. Well, which line was it? Mark, what was the line? Mm, not the Chris I've met someone in Europe moment. Yeah. <gasps> Mark, you're a turtle! You absolute... Oh my god, you giant dog! Oh, how could you let this happen? I told you, as soon as I left, make sure you digitise it straight away! Hey, you're the one who insisted on shooting it on 70 mil. I advised you against doing the, the whole thing. The script insisted on 70 millimetres. I was literally on the way to the lab at 5am in the goddamn morning. What, what okay. would you want me to do? Can we, can we, can we salvage it, piece it back together, restore it? It's, it is burnt beyond repair. Trust me, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be making this call if we could. We have nothing for that line. I've emailed you a copy to see for yourself what we're missing, but got the, I think the rest of it works great. It's Oscar worthy, really. <laughs> okay. Okay, right. Well, we'll just have to reshoot it. Unfortunately, we will. But also, unfortunately, we won't be able to get Matt back on set. Ah. Uh, Prepping for Aquaman 4. No, not on my watch. Robin. <laughs>
Hello. Uh, who's this? Matt. What's with the voice? I'm 20% in character. Ah, oh. well, it's Aquaman, not Batman. The answer is no. I haven't even asked you anything yet. I spoke to Mark and it's not happening. I'm prepping for my role. I, it's a one day shoot to restore a brilliant masterpiece of film. I'll fly you in from wherever you are. I'm in Atlantis. Planes are useless here. I've moved on, I've shed the skin. Uh, Matt, listen to me. This is a guaranteed Oscar nomination. Don't you want to be a part no, of- I don't compete for Oscars. Oscars don't mean anything. I fight to protect the worlds of the land and the sea. And I act for the journey. What about the thousands of people who have worked their asses off on this film's journey? You know, we've got, we've got two days to get it finished. Uh, I, I just need you to come in and re-deliver one line. I'll fly you in from wherever you are to Sydney on Wednesday. I've spent, I've spent millions on the stunt bots, okay? And I just, I need you to re-deliver one line. I'm sorry, Robin, I can't. My people need me now. Oh, wait, wait, I haven't even heard what line it was that we lost. It was, it was your best line, it was perfect. Do you remember? I'll see you at the premiere. Matt! Okay. <laughs> oh, please, make up. Who am I? Arthur, no, but who am I? Half Atlantean? Half human, a bridge between two worlds. When am I? 1985. Where am I? The Mediterranean Sea. Why am I? Good question. Why am I? Why am I? I don't know why I am. How does that make me feel? I feel afraid, which makes me feel unsure, which makes me feel unworthy, which makes me feel like my long lost brother should be wielding this, not me. But what defines me? I, I, what defines me? I make a choice. What do I choose? What do I choose? Sacrifice. I am sacrifice. Ziggurath! Come at me! Son of a gun, God Christ! Oh. <laughs> okay. Eric, cancelled your dinner date. You're working late tonight. And happy anniversary. Michelle, no, put that bot back in the box and don't open any more. We are getting a refund on all the stunt bots. We need bargaining power. Bargaining power for what? We're going to war to save this damn movie. For the arts! <sighs> what, Stephen? What now? No, you, you can't. I can figure this out. Look. Look, we're going to return the stunt bots. All I need is enough to get... Yes, yes, Greg is picking them up tomorrow. Okay, we're gonna scrap the fight scene. The fight scene, it's 100% gone. <laughs> what? Who? Who's... Uh, okay, look, this is making no sense, okay? I'm obviously being targeted and I can fix this. Stephen.
Are you okay? Yeah. I'm great. Where do you want me to leave the stunt bots? Anywhere. <clears throat> I don't care. What happened? We're still reshooting scene 82, right? What did Stephen say? He said, why do you always have to take the hard road? Stephen? No, my dad. When I told him that I wanted to direct. Oh. When? When I was 12. Who? Oh. But, um, Stephen said that they're bringing in a new director, so... I'm out, skis. Also, the truck driver's suing. And the stunt bots can't be returned. Yeah. It's all my fault. Hey, how's any of this your fault? <laughs> the shoot was amazing. And... Look, an unforeseeable accident happened. We can reshoot that moment. Mm, Matt won't. Like, he really won't. Like, remember that time that he said his character wouldn't lie? Oh, so it's his fault. <laughs> it's always his fault. You're right. <laughs> if it wasn't for that arrogant, oh. pretentious, mm. delusional, annoyingly talented. Yeah. Prick. Yeah. It'd all be smooth sailing. <laughs> I have an idea. Want to take it out on him? What? Want to know what it feels like to take a baseball bat to his face? <laughs> These bots are made for it. <laughs> no. <laughs> Check it out. Death by arrow. Huh. <laughs> More. More, it helps. <laughs> it really helps. Death by choking. I'd like to make an announcement. I have a tiny penis. <laughs> you can input text now? Yeah, you can customize accents, emotions, whatever. I'd like to officially apologize for being the biggest douchebag imaginable. I act like a douchebag to distract me from my worst fear, which is that I have a tiny penis. This is what I think about when I cry in scenes and is the secret to my acting. I also have a secret crush on Robin, but I'm intimidated by her because she's a confident woman in a man's world. That, that sounds just like him. Yeah, we voice matched it to him. What? You know what? Huh? Scene 82. Emotion, grief. Accent, Kiwi. Chris, I met somebody in Europe. I'm in love and I'm going to go be with her. There's nothing here for me anymore. I leave tonight. Oh, oh. Ah, that was the worst. Yeah, we should just <laughs> shoot it with this bot and destroy his whole acting career. You know what? At this point, I just... I just might. Hey! Okay. Switch it back to the US accent. And you can do emotions, right? Uh, yes, if you do. Okay, well, we need a, a kind of deep desire mm -hmm. layered with pain and loss, but with the honourable firmness of strength and duty. Uh, yeah, we have joy, anger, fear, grief and boredom for dialogue. We do have presets. Okay. Um, policeman, soldier, distressed citizen, mm -hmm. dying citizen. Mm -hmm. 
it's a stunt bot, not an acting bot. Though they should really make those. Hmm. Okay, well, we've got fear, right? Uh, yes. Well, let's try fear. Okay. Chris, I met somebody in Europe. I'm in love and I'm going to go be with her. There's nothing here for me anymore. I leave tonight. That was painful. Yeah. Okay, well, enter some pauses. Full stops and commas too. Because, well, it's a gorgeous moment. Mm -hmm. You know, he's, he's doing the opposite to what he feels. Mm -hmm. You know, it's the conflict that we need. Yeah. Conflict. Maybe anger. Oh, uh, we can plot emotions for each line. Really? Yeah. What emotions do we have again? Uh, we have joy, anger, fear, grief, boredom. Okay. The scope. <laughs> All right. Um, Chris. Chris. Okay. Anger. Yep. Put that down. I've met somebody in Europe. Fear. Yep. I'm in love. No. I'm in love. Joy. Yeah. Okay. There's nothing here for me anymore. Anger. Okay. I leave tonight. Fear. You're the director. Right. Chris. I met somebody in Europe. I'm in love. And I'm going to go be with her. There's nothing here for me anymore. I leave tonight. That was terrible. Mm. But not entirely terrible. You're not actually thinking of doing it. Like okay, we just, we just need a believable moment. We've still got the original audio, so we can cut back to her. It's a complex scene, Michelle. We need layers. Oh. Chris, I met somebody in Europe. Chris, I met somebody in Europe. Chris, I met somebody in Europe. I am in love. <laughs> there is nothing here for me anymore. I met somebody in Europe. I'm in love. I'm in love. Uh, I'm leaving. Uh, uh. Nothing, nothing's gonna work. I mean, look, nothing can replace the complexity of human emotion. And we may as well not have any emotion at all if... Do we have the ability to disable the emotion? Well, yeah, that's how we started off. Turn the emotion off. Volume down. Play it again. Dear Danny, if you're reading this, then you got out. In which case, I'm going to say, I knew you would. Welcome back to Down Under, my friend. Thank you for trusting me and taking the bullet for me. It was well worth it. I've wasted no time building an empire. Or hell, I'll show it to you. Besides, we are 50-50 in it after all. Give me a call and let me repay you. Your best friend in loving hope, Kevin. P.S. Enjoy the whiskey. It is made by our very own distillery. And it shits on that weak American trash. Hello? Kev. You son of a bitch. Who's this? It's me, Danny. Danny, welcome back. Uh, it's, it's Marcus. Marcus? Where's Kevin? 
I'm sorry to tell you. I know you two were close. Kevin was located. What? They got him. What do you mean they got him? There was an ambush. None of us saw it coming. I'm, I'm so sorry, Danny, but Kevin, he... He didn't make it out. What are we gonna do? You gotta stay on the move. Someone will meet you at the spot with further instructions. Marcus. You're not safe where you are. You don't have a better option, Danny. Marcus. We've been compromised. I can't. Listen, I gotta go. Marcus. Marcus! Chris. Danny. You're back. Y yeah. You, what, are you, what are you doing here? I can't believe you're back. I thought I lost you. Five years and nothing. I know. Why I'm didn't sorry. you contact me? I couldn't. I've been coming here for the last five years waiting for you. Do you know how hard it's been? What's wrong? What about Sam? We broke up when I heard you were spotted in Paris. I couldn't stop thinking about you. I prayed you'd come home to me. Danny, there's been no one else who could come close to what we had. Have. I'll do anything to keep you safe. Chris, I met somebody in Europe. I'm in love and I'm going to go be with her. I only came back to find the will. I did love you once, but they changed me. There's nothing here for me anymore. I'm leaving tonight. I'm sorry, Chris. No, I understand. You're alive and safe and... That's all that matters. Chris, I... Love you too. That was amazing. I mean, that's that performance. I mean, the character arc was so wide. It was a point where the character comes back to Chris, the love of his life, hasn't seen for years, says, I've met someone in Europe, and then has to sell her, you know, I'm in love. Now, normally, I think on that last line, you would just let the emotion just rip out of us, just pour out of us. But you've made this incredibly nuanced choice where you've just pulled it back and you've just being a broken man, it seems like you just come out with nothing. Almost like, almost like you're a robot. What made you make that incredible nuanced choice? I mean, what was going through your mind? We all want to know. Okay. Uh, well, on, on, on that particular line, that, that uh, specific take we just saw, because we only did two takes, um, that's actually the first time I've seen it. I'm just <laughs> just trying to process it because uh, I don't I don't watch my films once I've already lived them. Why would you? You know. You know what? I I I honestly can't uh, recall that specific take. You know, maybe I was so in the character. Like you want to f forget your performance. Uh, that's the thing. You just want to live the moment, live the truth, and let it go. And I I, I can't recall. There's a. There's a couple of lines there that I, I don't I don't even uh, remember saying. Did I say that? I don't know. Did I say that? <laughs> no. Watching it back now, it just it 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 seems it seems 
different. Fucking bitch. It's, it's here. It's here. Why would you put a f***ing door here, not... Acting like a one and... Oscar. Living like a one and... Oscar. Women like a one and... Oscar. They doing the same thing, wanna change the game Gotta flip it like a pancake No use in the microwave, gotta saute Make them so saute We do it like you never thought of Cooking hot stuff, winning Oscars Don't want podcasts We finna fly high Find me on your billboards and bus stops Catch me on your TVs with stunt bots Cause I like a one in Oscar Living like a one in Oscar Women like a one in Oscar